the only hour and a half, well, today, 45 minutes of peace that I have is doing my damn shows. The other 23 and a half hours or 22 and a half hours suck. This job sucks. Don't ever be a lead singer or grow up wanting to be one because you're in for a life of misery. That's all there is to it. We started off, everything was great because you're young and invincible. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, then it, then it came a time where uh, uh, I, I became a family man. Yes. And I, I had a tough time flying back and forth. And now at this, at, at this stage or at the level we're at now, I can do that. I can fly home mm -hmm. when I want to and, uh, on days off and, uh, and spend some time with my family, which, which is something I wasn't able to do when they were growing up. Yeah, it's just, it's just getting harder and harder to, uh, to come back out on the road. Um, you know, 35 years is a long time. I had neck surgery, mm. so I can't handbang anymore. I got three vertebrae that are fused. Like, and I got lower back issues. Like wow. Gary, Gary's got lower back issues and hip issues. All guitar players, that's the price you yeah. pay. What I like about what I do is the stage time. Mm -hmm. That's the best part. Absolutely. You know what I mean, I like, I like singing and just spitting that shit out, you know, and, and convincing everybody that, Oh my God, this guy's a fucking maniac. Ozfest is a real tour, but they take care of you. Like there's food, there's fucking bathrooms and shit. And then we did the cold chamber tour. And that was like the real shit. You wake up and you're like, oh God, I gotta take a shit at the Dunkin' Donuts. We were literally living off of about 20 bucks a week. We each had like 20 bucks a week, so we learned to love dollar sandwiches at like the 7-Eleven. We, uh, we, we would we, we'd steal like all this shit out of the venues. Like somebody would leave a box of like the vending machine chips, that shit would disappear. And I have never eaten that many fucking Slim Jims in my life. At four in the morning, like a piece of shit. Just fucking standing outside of a truck stop, just fucking going, oh, I'm living a dream. The worst thing about tour is you wake up and it's 12 or one o'clock in the afternoon. You walk out of the bus and it goes from 60 degrees to about 105 degrees and humid. And it's so bright, you feel like you're on the surface of the sun. You smell nothing but diesel fumes and you walk into a venue that looks exactly like the one you were just in, but it's in a whole different state. And then you walk into your dressing room as though there's gonna be like a beautiful, nice, soft couch waiting for you, some Frank Sinatra playing. There's nothing of the sort. There'll be a cinder block room with fluorescent lights and uh, they'll say, your dressing room's not set up yet. And then you kind of just look at everything and you walk right back to your bus. Yeah. And then you wait for another five hours. The worst thing about touring. Being on tour. No, the worst thing about tour, uh, not having a lot of alone time. Being, being always in the presence of someone else at all times. All the time. My goal is isolation. Mm. I really don't like people too much. I don't like mm. to be around people. And it's kind of ironic that mm. in this occupation, <laughs> I'm forced at times to make a fool out of myself in front of up to 10,000 people per night. Mm. So, you know, but the road to heaven sometimes leads through hell. Yeah, absolutely. And so I'm doing this, A, because it's, I like to write songs and mm. I like to record them. And B, it's um, it's an escape for me. It's um, it's a way out of it at the end, so I don't have to do it anymore. All those things that happen, like people threatening Ringo or threatening us or saying Slipping the plane, bits of hair off and the stuff plane was going to crash, hurricanes hitting, race riots, student riots. On fire. There was always something that we pulled into town. There was always some big thing going on, and we'd come in the middle with this mania, and that it'd just be like. Chaos. It's the most consistently inconsistent job in the entire world. You never know what the next day is going to be. For example, tonight we're going to leave at 10 p.m. and we're going to go from here in Toronto to New York City. If we're going to do the same thing, we're going to do about six hours of press. We're going to go home for four days, which is probably the four days out of the four weeks of the year that we're going to be home. It's a lot harder than I think a lot of people understand yeah it's it's like you said not necessarily harder or easier but it's just not what they think honestly it sucks uh, traveling so much and having to move from one city to another every day and it's, it's stressful and you know draining but uh, uh, but still uh, being on stage doing the show and especially with this band we have, we have such a good time that uh, 
it makes you worth it, worthwhile. And there's no crazy story. We're not stupid enough to start smashing things up or breaking anything. I mean, you know, it was, we're going to just barely, barely have enough of a budget to go on tour. So why would you want to throw a TV out the window? Some stupid cliches like that. It's not like that.